Welcome everyone to Memphis, Tennessee. It's the 2004 Choice Hotels US Open Racquetball Championships. This is the Grand Slam event in the sport of racquetball. I'm Sean Royster, and this is former top five pro Aaron Katz. Aaron, we call this the Grand Slam of racquetball. It's the biggest event. All the best players from all over the world come, and they actually expand the draw. Your normal IRT Pro event only has 32 players. This has expanded to 64. Top 48 people get in, 16 qualify, and we're down to the final four, so it's getting down to nut cutting time. We're gonna see the best racquetball players in the world, as we have been, as this is the sixth show in a series of nine covering this US Open. Let's talk about today's matchup. Rocky Carson coming off his best season on tour, finishing last year at number four. Let's take a look at the draw and see who he had to deal with yeah. coming into this match. Rocky has really had a very easy time getting to the semifinals. Unusual, as competitive as the IRT Tour is. His draw kind of opened up in the round of 16. He played Ben Croft, the junior national champ. And then in the quarterfinals, he played Kyle Veenstra, who was a real upset getting to the quarterfinals. He took out the number five seed, Alvaro Beltran, who everybody thought would be playing Rocky in the quarters. And that has been historically a very tough matchup for Rocky. Rocky beat Kyle very easily, so he hasn't been pushed at all. So Rocky Carson has not been tested up to this point. Let's hear what he has to say about his match today. I want to be a little aggressive. I want to, I want to try to put him on his heels. He's playing so confident, so uh, in control matches where he's uh, got his opponents uh, so far on their heels that uh, it's hard for them to recover getting themselves into the rallies. And uh, I want to try to do that a little bit with him. It's tough. He's real quick, crushes the ball. Uh, he sees the ball well off the glass. And um, a, lot of, a lot of people have trouble with that glass. He seems to do pretty well with it. So I'm going to try to uh, get him, uh, hopefully, back on his heels a little bit more than he has been. I don't plan on it being quick. I plan on it being a long match. I have, I have a feeling Kane's going to be a pound in the ball, and I'm going to be doing a lot of running, and hopefully I'll be doing the same thing with him. I bring a lot of sloppy shots that, uh, um, that put people in awkward positions, and uh, Kane does really well with those. Uh, I can't, I'm not going to be able to afford to hit too much stuff to put him in uh, uh, get him on his heels doing that way. I'm gonna have to make my shots when I get him. Well, as you can see there, Rocky, same old Rocky. Very comfortable, soft-spoken. Doesn't seem too excited or amped up. He never seems to get too too pumped, really. And no, that's not his style, but you know, Rocky should be confident. He had a great season last year, won an event, went to several finals. He's been a solid semi-finalist this year. He should step on the court with anybody believing he can win. Rocky, a great player, however, he does have his hands full today. He's playing the world champion, Kane Wazalinchuk, who has won seven of the last eight pro tournaments. Kane Wazalinchuk, who did he have to deal with coming into this match against Rocky? You know, so far he hasn't had to deal with much. He had a very, very non-competitive quarterfinal match, which we saw here on the Tennis Channel a couple of weeks ago. He killed Mike Guidry, so he hasn't been pushed at all. Both these players will be very fresh, and I think we'll see them both leaving it all on the court. Well, Kane, like Rocky, has not been pushed yet. Let's see what Kane has to say about this match today. Rocky's a great player. Um, I believe he's number four on tour right now. And, uh, you know, I'm just going to come and, and, and play my game. And uh, I, have to, I have to basically be ready for, for you know, anything that he, that he brings my way. And I am ready. And, uh, you know, I respect him a lot, you know, on and off the court. But uh, today it's... It's not even about that. Today, it's a, it's all about winning. Uh, in my mind, I, I feel I am the best that ever, you know, to ever play right now. It's just that, you know, the numbers aren't beside my name right now, which eventually, you know, that's just experience, and and uh, you know, I'll get there. I just go in and play and play my game, and you know, if I have to change something, I feel that my game allows me to. Uh, if 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 something's not working in my, you know, if I'm not firing on on all cylinders, then you know, I can I can change it up too, um, but I'm ready to uh, I'm ready to for the challenge, and uh, I'm, I'm I'm pumped about it. This is definitely my tournament. So the number four player in the world, Rocky Carson, coming off his best season, playing great racquetball, going against Kane Wazalinchuk, the world champion, virtually smoking everybody that they put in front of him. Kane Wazalinchuk versus Rocky. What do you see happening here today? You know, I, I'd love to see a great match, but I've got. 
Kane as a very heavy favorite. I think Rocky's going to have to have everything go right for him, everything go wrong for Kane, and then I still make Kane a slight favorite. Rocky Carson, number four in the world. Kane Wazalinchuk, number one in the world. Let me get back. Well, Aaron, they've taken the court here. Kane Wazalinchuk, Rocky Carson. Both coming to the court with confidence. Rocky jogging out, not like Rocky Carson, but Rocky Balboa. Looks like he's ready to fight here. And Kane, I mean, what can you say about Kane? He's just been smashing everybody they put in front of him. Yeah, Kane's going to be very confident. For people that have been following the series, Sean, it's going to sound like a broken record, but I think the key is going to be both these guys get to a ton of balls. It's going to be who does more with the balls they get to. Um, Rocky, in particular, has a tendency to get to a lot of balls and pop them up to the ceiling, keep them in play, whereas Kane has actually taken re-killing on the dive to a new level. I think for Rocky to have a chance, he's going to have to be very effective and offensive even when he's on the defense. Well, Rocky has won the toss here. He'll be serving to Kane Wazalinchuk to start out this match. Let's go down now and watch how these two players go at it. It's zero, serve zero. Rocky Carson serving to Kane Wazalincha. That's an awkward shot there. Good shot. And that's what I'm talking about, how offensive Kane is even when he's stretched out. Rocky hit a pretty good pin shot. Kane stepped up, covered it easily but rather than punching it back in play, he just re-killed it, ended the rally right there. Kane serving. Once again, Kane, there's not a, left, a lot left to chance. You know he's gonna come out drive serving, playing very aggressive. That's a nice shot by Great Rocky shot Carson. shot by Rocky. This is the sixth show, sixth match here, in a series of nine you'll see on the Tennis Channel. Our coverage of the 2004 Choice Hotels US Open Racquetball Championships. For, you know, this is a tough act to follow after last week. So, Sean, that Huzak Swain match was just a classic. Um, I'd love for this to live up to that because that was a lot of fun. It certainly was. As you saw there in the later part of that match, I became a fan. You know, the reason I got to tell you, I've, Cliff is just such a great player, a great ambassador of the sport. Do you want to disclose who you're rooting for early on, or do you want to wait for it to come out? <laughs> I think I'm going to keep that one secret here. Kane takes one right in the face, knocks the eye guards off. Rocky goes up to check on him, make sure he's okay. Kane's Obviously, that was a, a mistake. It was not a deliberate hit. He was just flailing at the serve. Kane knows he didn't do that on purpose. Short serve. And here we saw a lot of this last week uh, with the plays jawing a little bit with the refs and Kane is starting off early as you have pointed out on several times, Sean. A lot of times you strategically work on the ref so you might get that close call later in the match that you need. Boy, it's a good opportunity there. You know, Kane, he looks a little hyped up right now. He doesn't look like he's settled into his game yet. I think Rocky this should really try and take advantage of this, maybe get on top of Kane until he relaxes. He's hit a short serve, left some up, made some uncharacteristic errors for him. Still no points scored here as Rocky and Kane go at it. But there's one right there. Kane Wazalinchuk draws first blood. Yeah, that was a rather pedestrian serve to go for an ace. Uh, if you're Rocky, you got to make Kane do something much more spectacular than that to get a free point. One serve, zero. So critical at this level that you make your opponent earn every point. That's that junk. Yeah, and I don't like that shot. I mean, there, Rocky had a forehand set up right in the center of the court why he would rip an around the wall ball like that, that's very unlikely he's gonna get an offensive opportunity for, from is, is beyond me. He really needs to be more aggressive than that. And if he gets a forehand up in the front court, he's gotta put it away or at least attempt to. It's a 
Good serve. Rocky yeah. answers with a nice backhand. Cross court. Great shot. You know, Rocky lives down in Southern California by me, Aaron. Really doesn't have a whole lot of players that he can really practice with. Uh, as Kane's got Gidry and he's got a couple other players in Texas, but you don't see a lot of great players right in his area. There's a lot of players in Southern California, but very seldom do I hear of Rocky going and, and playing with some of the some of the great players that play on this tour. You know, and I think that's common, you know, for a lot of them. Cliff doesn't have a lot of great players in Boston, and Huzak doesn't have a lot of great players in Detroit. I think they're used to it, and they play enough tournaments that they're able to work on other aspects of their game in between tournaments. Nice shot by King. It's all tied up here, one serves one. And one thing I'm confident we won't see here is any bad blood. Both these are two of the nicest guys on the tour and while they play very, very intense, um, both very gentlemanly on the court. They certainly have a lot of respect for each other. Again, you had mentioned in uh, some of the previous matches with Kane. And something that's great about Kane is just a vicious competitor and he, and he, goes, he goes hardcore every match, every point but very respectful of the history and very respectful of uh, the players he's playing against. And there Kane shows his versatility, not just a banger, hit a lob serve, stepped back into center court, and re-killed Rocky's return. That's a tough shot. Great shot. Very tough shot to cut that ball off the side wall like that and pinch it. We're going to take a little break here. Rocky Carson, Kane Wazalinchuk, more when we return. We're back now. Rocky Carson serving. Goes after the backhand of Kane and he misses that one. Oh, that's a rare miss for Kane. All tied up here at twos. Rocky looks very comfortable right now, as he indicated in his pregame warm-up. He's very confident, looks very relaxed, and mixing up his serves. What's the call? Short serve. That's a good call. Good serve. You're calling him about a half a minute late. Come on, Jay. Get those down. Two Stop serves, that. two. See Rocky flicking out. That's a nice Once hit. again on the defense. Great get. Oh, wow. It up. Wow. Kane not happy. Great Rocky guess. probably got that on two bounces, Aaron. I don't know. We'll have to take a look again here, but was, regardless, great hands and way to stay in it. Yeah. And Kane finishes with that nice little awfully that call, close. Jay. You got to make that call. And Kane still, and I guess this is not a good sign for Rocky because Kane does have a one-point lead. Kane does not look relaxed yet to me. He still looks pretty hyped up, still trying to work his way into his game. Rocky actually looks much more relaxed, much more comfortable at this early stage in the match. Thank you. <laughs> Three serves two. Kane Wazalinchuk lining up to serve. A lot like Cliff, it's a lot of drive serve. First time see Kane hit any any sort of a lob or soft serve. Yeah, and, and there Rocky, Rocky let that Z serve get into that third wall. If you're playing against a lefty, whether it be Kane or Cliff, who really is going to like that hard Z to your backhand since it's an advantage a lefty has, you really have to make him establish that serve behind him before you're going to let that Z-serve get into the third wall. We're going to take a little break here. When we get back, more Kane Wazalinchuk and Rocky Carson. And we're back. Kane Wazalinchuk serving to Rocky Carson. A great semifinal match here. Two young players. We talk about the Cliff Swains and the Sudzy Monchicks and Jason Menino, these players that have been on tour for quite a long time. These two up-and-comers, however, dominating in the top five in the world right now. Good serve. 
tough to call them up and comers when they're at the top of the yeah. game. And that's the serve I'm talking about. Once he opens up that serve behind him, he got an ace out of it there. It's really going to create some opportunities for him to come back with that Z serve to the backhand and really get it deep into Rocky's backhand. There's that Z we talked about. That's a great shot. You mentioned earlier that you don't see Kane uh, very comfortable hitting his shots. Seems to me like he's starting to step into it now and relax. I think I put a, a hex on Rocky by saying that because he looked much more relaxed. I think that Z serve that Rocky missed um, relaxed him a little bit. Then he came back with the ace and then back to the Z serve. I like this sequence that Kane has going, mixing up that serve behind him and the Z serve. And there we went down the line. Great shot by Rocky there because Kane did not hit a bad serve. Got that ball pinned on the left wall. That's very tough to get to. Yeah, that somehow is. Rocky scraped it off and drilled it right down the line. You know, most of the time a shot comes down that's kind of stuck on that side wall. You generally want to just punch at it, somehow get it to the front wall, hit a defensive ceiling ball or something, but Rocky shoots it and has a winner. can't miss that shot. He cannot miss that shot. Woo. It's easy stuff and you're just giving Woo. it away. I'll try and make that one easier next time. Oh. It was just a dead setup. Wow. But to, a so good the distinction wall. as far as their aggressiveness and how they're approaching the game, Sean. Every time Kane has hit a Z-serve, Rocky's let it get okay. into the third wall. There you saw Rocky hit a Z-serve. Kane aggressively stepped up and cut it off before it got into the side wall. Kane with a tough serve. Goes out, that's a point. You know this court, sure. let's talk about this portable court and the rules when the ball goes out. Well, this is a unique court because it's a portable court that they bring in just for this tournament so they can accommodate the crowds. And because it's portable, the glass is not built up all the way to the top. So the rule is if it hits the floor and then goes out, it's a play over. But if it goes out directly like that without hitting the floor, then it's a loss or rally for the person who struck the ball. Kane serving now 7-2. Pretty decent lead in this first game for Kane Wazalinchuk. Wow. Rocky oh just yeah. tried, tried to crush that. Yeah, Not much I, control in ball. He's just trying to kill that. You know, what I'm starting to see um, after watching a couple of weeks ago Kane play Guidry, now watching him pay ro play Rocky, I think the players, because Kane has been so dominant, are actually starting to develop a mental block to where they're not playing their game because they don't believe they can win. I mean, Rocky's totally out of sorts now, missing setups that he would almost never miss. What? Oh, no. For what? For his backswing. He didn't even attempt to take a backswing. How can you even say? I'm behind him, he went and hit a touch shot. That's the worst call that you ever made. How can you call him avoidable on that? Kane claims it's the worst call ever made. Well, that's a pretty strong statement because we've seen plenty of bad calls in this six week series. Oh, yeah. you guys think, you guys think it's all bad, right? I'm in it in a good way. I miss that. I'm not sure, but it sounds like the crowd has turned against Kane. I, he knows how this crowd can turn on a player. Seeing that in Jack Huzak a week ago. And the week before. It's wow. wow. See, that is just an unbelievable shot. That is a dispiriting shot for a player. I mean, Rocky hit the right shot. He actually hit it very well. And Kane somehow totally extended out in the air had the balance to re-kill that ball, keep his racket flat, and punch a re-kill. Just a phenomenal shot. Kane serving 8-2 to Rocky Carson. It's a good shot. Get that. Now, Kane was questioning an avoidable hinder. 
avoidable hinders when it takes away an offensive opportunity? Is it's, that a, what it's a hinder, and a normal hinder would just be a play over. But if in the referee's judgment that hinder took away an offensive opportunity, then it would be a point for the person who created the hinder. Now that looked like a bad call. That serve looked very short. I didn't see it. Did you see it? I thought it was a good serve. Okay. Give Rocky the ace on that one. All right. I will defer to your eyes. They're younger than mine. <laughs> Went for a jam serve there, and you see the both players trying to set up the serve. So far, Rocky hasn't had a chance to do it, but mixing up the drive behind them, the drive in front, the Z's, the jams, so you never get quite, you never get your feet set in the return of serve position. Eight serves three now. Kane, no doubt, coming with some heat here. We're going to take a little break here. Kane Wazalinchuk and Rocky Carson. Great racquetball. We're back now. Rocky Carson serving to Kane Wazalinchuk. Three serves eight. And there's the right shot. And he got an opportunity there. Remember last time he had a forehand up there, he hit a very awkward around the wall ball there. He took his forehand and just re-killed it. Rocky with a lob serve there. Ooh, he can't flick that up. Ooh, that Nice shot by Rocky Carson. You see Kane shaking his glasses there and cleaning his glasses. These players sweat so much out there. It's tough to keep those glasses clean without that fog from the, the sweat coming off your face. It's a very, very tough thing. Nice shot. Great shot there by Kane. Obviously, he was able to overcome the sweat from the eye guards there. Kane having a little trouble keeping the fog off of there. Get. Great get and great hands. Yeah. He's just got great hands up front. That's unbelievable, Jason. And Rocky, it's just, I mean, Kane, uh, we talked about this a few weeks ago when he was playing Gidry and what was really just a massacre. No matter how big his lead is, his intensity never wavers. He just really puts that foot on the neck and keeps closing and closing and closing. Nine serves five. Nice shot. Good shot there by Rocky. Five serves nine. Rocky Carson hanging around. Trying to come with some heat here. Take a look at that again, Aaron. What'd you think? Well, I thought it skipped, but it was tough to tell because he didn't hit it real clean. And judging from Kane's reaction, I think Kane thinks it skipped as well. I think he would have been a little more vocal if he truly thought that ball was good. You know, Kane has shown a few more chinks in the armor than he has. Rocky just has not been able to take advantage of it. Another set up off the back wall. Look at that. Great get. Nice get. Oh, wow. Kane with so many weapons. Rocky with some great gets. 
really some unbelievable gets. A couple that were very close, and that's what Kane is motioning for now. Kane Wazalinchuk getting ready to bring some heat. Oh, barely missed by Rocky yeah. Carson. You know, we talked about it a little bit before the match where Kane has to play poorly, Rocky has to play great, and even then it's going to be tough. Well, Kane is not playing his best right now, um, but neither is Rocky. He's had a lot of opportunities that he's been able to capitalize on. Now Kane with game point. Pretty fired up there. Kane Wazalinchuk pumps his fist and gets out of that game one. We're back here. Kane Wazalinchuk takes that first game. See if Rocky can put something together here for this world champion. Yeah, it was, it was kind of an awkward game. Neither player really had their good stuff. The intensity level was not high, nowhere near what we saw last week with Huzak and Swain. We'll see if they can bring up the intensity level and the level of play this game. Once again, there's Rocky. Unbelievable. Getting to balls, but not doing enough with them and just putting the ball back and playing. You can't do that with Kane. I mean, it's good that he's making those great gets, but he's got to do something more to put pressure on Kane, or Kane is just going to stay nice and relaxed as he's swinging because he's not going to get punished if he leaves it up. Kane's got so much firepower. He's able to shoot from all over the court. How do you miss that? You know, I just don't think Rocky believes he can win. Yeah, you can kind of see it, like you've mentioned, in a couple matches, body language. Uh, you, you're able to judge that by looking at the way somebody's walking around the court, the way they hang their head or shoulders. And it just does not look like Rocky's here to win right now. Plus, dealing with somebody who does that over and over again. Yeah, that first game was as good an opportunity as you're going to have to get, get on Kane. Kane looked a little sluggish, a little, you know, a little tight when it started out. He made some errors, and Rocky just never seemed like he had the confidence to take advantage of it. Now he's down one game to zero and three zero in the second, really digging himself a hole. That's a tough serve. Look at that. Yeah, you know, once keep, I hate to keep harping on it, but Rocky is not playing aggressively enough. He's got to cut off those Z serves. He can't let him get into the corner. He's got to re-kill those left up shots. Even if he stretched out, right now he's playing far too defensive. And Kane is just starting to relax, really getting his groove. You got to put pressure on Kane. And I know that's sometimes easier said than done. Look at that serve. A serve by Kane. Pumping his fist, he's excited. You know, you said textbook racquetball is really to hit a great serve, force your opponent to hit a defensive shot, setting yourself up for that third shot that you should put down. Now, if you can hit an ace like that, you're better off doing that than having to put down the third shot. But, you know, it's not realistic. Most players, even Kane, can't count on an ace every time, so drawing a weak return is what you're really looking for. Oh! It's <laughs> a good yeah. call. Oh, it was way short. Can you stand up, please? Why not? Kane telling the referee to stand up. How can you see that from there, though? Now, Kane is. Wow. He asked Jason to stand up. He says, How? Kane, uh, Jason says, No, I won't stand up. And Kane says, no How? Can you see it from there? Jason's throwing no a response. Because I'm good. Well, that's good. We've got a not confident very, very champion very and a confident ref. It sounds like a I'm good combination. Like <laughs> I like it. Two bounces. Rocky leaves the box with no points scored. Yeah. You, you kind of get the sense that Rocky's got to play great to, to win a rally. You, know, you don't get any sense at all that he's going to be able to string together a series of points, much less enough to, to get to 11 and win a game. Kane 5 0. Nice catch. Oh, 
my. That's an unbelievable shot and a great example of the distinction between the two players. Kane is diving, Kane is scrambling, and when he's doing so, he's still trying to hit an offensive shot and shot actually here. ended it Thanks. with a phenomenal reverse pinch on the dive. Truly incredible how tough it is to get to this level of racquetball, and then when you get up to this level where you can call yourself a professional, and then go against somebody like Kane Wazalinchuk, who is shown throughout this entire season and basically his career on tour that he is on an entirely different level. Ah. What's your call there, Aaron? Definitely a skip. Good call by the ref. And I think Kane knew it's skip too. That's a good call. It's part of the psyche between player and ref to walk up to the service box, just wait for the ref to call. Definitely players on this level and, and, you know, make the ref do the job. And we saw this a couple of weeks ago when Kane played Mike Gidry. You start to feel bad for his opponent because he's so good. They have such a deep mental block. They just look like they want to get off the court and get it over with. And it doesn't make for entertaining racquetball because it's it's not competitive, um, and it's you feel uncomfortable for the player. Right now, I I feel bad for Rocky. He just does not look like he is in this match at all. Six zero. It's a good shot. Here's the Rocky hand. Carson we know and love. Well, I love him, Aaron. You know, obviously he is capable of playing great racquetball. He's the yeah. number four player in the world. He's won an event. He's been to several finals. Rocky's going to take a little break, think this one over. When we get back, more Kane Wazalincha just dominating so far. We're back here. Rocky Carson yet to score a point here. He's lost the first game. I wonder if he went out there and tried to put his thoughts together to see if he can put something together for uh, Kane Wazalinchuk, who's yeah, no, just I, been overbearing so far. Yeah, I think he recognized that he wasn't in this match, called a timeout, got off the court, and you know what you've got to do in this situation when you're playing a great champion like Kane is just block out who you're playing and focus on playing your game. Which so far, Rocky has been unable to do. Skip ball. Rocky's on the board. And you can hear the crowd, they're sensing that this can go quickly if they don't get Rocky into it. So they're cheering Rocky on, even on a skip there by Kane. They definitely want to see a good match here. These people paid, uh, paid some dollars to get in here. They want to see Rocky put on some sort of a fight here. It's a good shot. Kane Wazalinchuk, really just dominant from all sides. You know, I hate to start forecasting because it's very early on in the match, but I'm really looking forward to the Kane Cliff final if that's what it turns out to be next week uh, because th they're playing at a very high level, both intensity and level of play. That will be a very entertaining final. Do you have a pick in that match? I until I saw until I saw Huzak and Swain's match, I picked Kane you know, to win the whole thing relatively easily, but I was so impressed by Cliff's level of play, i give him a shot against Kane if he plays well. Oh, God. I think that's Some a good contact call. up there. See the ball, Rock. And I would have gotten that ball, hit it between Sean, my legs, I'm, diving roll up. By talking about the final and discounting Rocky's chances, he will somehow hear it and motivate him to make this into a match so we can't talk about the final. Let's listen to uh, these two players as they chop it up here. That was a good serve and a good pattern from Rocky Carson. It's probably the best point he's put together where he had a good serve, forced Kane to go to the ceiling, and then killed the follow-up shot. 
That textbook third shot racquetball we talk about. 3-6, Rocky creeping his way back in here. Oh. That's very discouraging if you're Rocky. You hit a, he hit a pretty good shot, a good serve, and then he hit the absolute right shot. He hit that reverse corner to make Kane run all the way from the back left part of the court, back right part of the court to the front left, but Kane is so fast that not only did he get there, but he re-killed the shot. A little hard on the ceiling ball coming off the back wall. Skip ball. That's another opportunity that Rocky let slip away, and he looked very tentative on that shot. That ball came off the back wall further enough that he should have taken a better swing than that. Here we have Kane Wazalinchuk again taking a pretty good size lead here in game two. Won the first game with ease. And then now looking to close this second game out and take a two to game uh, two zero lead against Rocky Carson. Mm. Oh, a rare miss there. A rare miss by Cannon. He missed that shot badly. Now there's the first one we've seen Rocky take a ball that was hit hard at him up front and re-kill it rather than pop into the ceiling. If he can do that a few times, then he'll start to put a lot more pressure on Kane, where Kane might be thinking about his shots a little bit more than he's been forced to so far this match. With that, Rocky puts another point on the board, four serves seven. That was really an awkward round. I don't know what you mean. I, I, Rocky's asking for an avoidable, and I, I think he's right. I mean, the ball was set up right, set up forward, and Rocky would have had plenty of time to kill it if right, Kane had cleared. Yeah, that's definitely an offensive opportunity taken away. I mean, if Kane wasn't there. Let's see if Rocky can get his head in the game here. He's he's in the game. He's only down three points at 4-7. Rocky lifted up on that shot. Yeah, again, I'm, I don't know what Rocky is doing there. He's, he's had an opportunity. He had a forehand up in the center of the court. He should be trying to kill that ball. Why he, he's deliberately lifting up and going for that very awkward around the wall ball, I'm not sure. Seven four, Kane Wazalincha. Great serve. Kane scores another point, puts him at eight four. Kane taking his time. Kane's had a little bit of let up this game too, I think. I think he got into it with the crowd a little too much, may have relaxed a little bit. I think he's trying to get his focus back. Good Z serve, cut off by Rocky. Ceiling ball coming off the back wall again. Ah. Now once again, Rocky's gotta do more with that ball. Kane hit a good shot, but that's set up for him. Forehand up in the front court. It's tough enough beating Kane when you get him diving and on the run. You let him set up with a forehand at 23, 24 feet, and you don't have any chance at all. Getting the shots you want. Now 9-4. Even with a even with a big lead, Kane still bringing drive serves has really no interest in hitting Four. lob serves to any of the and opponents he, that he's had thus far. He's got a lob game. He obviously okay. feels that the drive is more effective, and I can see why he gets Rocky on the defense very consistently with that drive serve. But I've seen Kane use a lob serve very effectively. That's a good shot. 9-4. Nine serving four. 
Kane really does take his time and thinks out his serves. Some players walk up there, don't put enough time into the thought process and make a mistake. Wow, great shot. It's just been shots like that that have put Kane at the top here. Rocky, a great player. Not showing uh, much here in this match against Kane. Has not been able to mount anything consistent. He's hit a couple of good shots, a couple of good rallies, but doesn't look like he's prepared to play at the level and the intensity that it's going to take to hang with Kane. Couple good gets and great shots by Kane Wazalichuk. Great rally. And now he takes a 2-0 lead in this series. All it takes is one more game for Kane Wazalinchuk, and he's in the finals. Aaron Kane, I mean, what can you say? I mean, is there any answer for what he's bringing? Yeah, you just got to come out, play with a lot of intensity, and play at a very high level. I don't know if anybody's got an answer. It looks like Rocky doesn't so far. We'll find out. But We're back here. Rocky Carson serving to Kane Wazalinchuk so far. Been a one-sided match, Aaron. Yeah, no, it has been, and he's got to get off to a quick start here or it can slip away quickly. That's incredible. That was not a bad serve, and Kane slipped when he hit the ball, and he still rolled it out down the line. Kane Wazalinchuk has won the last seven of eight tournaments. Wow, probably off of shots like that. Yeah. You know, it's the one, you know, I say seven out of the last eight in the one tournament that he did lose, he lost uh, due to an injury. So yeah. it was basically a forfeit. So he really hasn't lost and it's, in these last eight tournaments. You know, it's not an easy shot, but it's not even worthwhile for Rocky to pop that ball to the ceiling. He's got to take an offensive swing on that serve. Even if he's stretched out, he's got to find a way to re-rip that ball. Letting Kane get on the offense is really a recipe for disaster. See if Rocky can put a little package together here to try to earn some points. Very tough. Not and with Kane's, that serve. No. That is not an effective serve. Kane's going to smash that every time. You know, good example. We, we haven't seen Rocky serve so ineffectively and it just shows how much pressure Kane puts on you that you're thinking about him when you're serving. Good break there for Rocky. He, Kane hit a tough serve to his forehand that he had trouble catching up with and Rocky ripped it cross court and caught that left wall crack. Rocky Carson in the red up serving number four player in the world serving against Kane Wazalinchuk, the number one player in the world. It's a good serve. Gets an ace there and puts himself Great on serve. the board. All tied up, one serves one. And he needs one. to stick with that. He needs to stay aggressive, drive serving, taking his shots. If he's gonna go down, he should be going down swinging, going down aggressive. He's been far too passive so far this match. Once again, you know, Rocky hit that around the wall ball, that three wall shot, and it was hit well, but he gave up an offensive opportunity to hit that shot. He had a forehand up in the front court, and he keeps lifting up on that because I think he's he likes these awkward shots. He needs to just play good, solid, fundamental racquetball and re-kill that ball up front. All tied up here, one serve, one. It's a good Great pass by there. Rocky. Good, aggressive swing. Drive serve stayed up just enough that he had time to get over there, get his racket back, and rip across court. Good serve, back wall set up. Again, coming off the back. That one goes out, that'll be a replay. Rocky a real good guy, he's a 
very religious guy. I've known him for, for many years. He lives in, this is pretty close to me. Hung in, I've hung out with Rocky for, I can't tell you how many years. I've never, never heard him say a bad word. The guy is just such a good, clean cut guy. Comes from a great family. No, he's a real gentleman. And Kane, both these guys are two of the nicest guys. Uncharacteristically nice for pro racquetball players. <laughs> The two of us played pro racquetball, and we're not nice guys, are we? <laughs> Speak for myself. Skip ball. Let's see if Rocky can take this, get it, and uh, motivate himself. See if he can get a couple points on the board. Yeah, He's got yeah. the lead for you can two tell. serves one. Yeah, the crowd is trying to continually trying to pull Rocky into it. He's just got to keep up this energy level, playing with a lot of aggression, a lot of intensity. Well, that's a great angle by Kane. I did not think he was going to hit that shot. I was thinking what I think Rocky was thinking, that he was going to have to pinch that ball in the right corner, and that's why Rocky was leaning forward a little bit. Great shot. That's a nice shot there. Yeah, once again, aggressive attempt there by Rocky. Difficult position, but he stayed down, took a shot. Two, serving one. See, that's what you spoke about there. We're going to take a little break, and when we get back, more of this match, semifinals here at the 2004 Hotel. Choice Hotels U.S. Open Racquetball yeah, Championship. We're back here on the Tennis Channel. Right. We've got Five Kane Wazalinchuk, the world champion, <laughs> and Rocky Carson. Set up again. Back wall set up again. Wow. Good rally. Yeah, and that was a little better on Rocky's part. There was a couple of balls up front that he punched back at Kane. Kind of caught him off guard. That last shot that Kane hit was just a spectacular shot, a re-kill. Rocky tried to jam him and was not successful. 2-2, two -two, still a very tight in this game. See if Rocky can fight through this, hang through, hang through these tough points. And you know, if he can get into the middle of this game pretty even, maybe he can pick up some confidence that he can play with Kane. I think that's what he's been really lacking so far. Um, he doesn't seem to have that confidence that he can stick with Kane. I'd like to see that though, coming out of Rocky. He's gotta somehow let go of the fact that he's playing. And there there are, right there. There's some confidence coming out of Rocky Carson. Yeah. He's got to get rid of that whole thing. I'm playing Kane Wazalinchuk. You can feel it from here. Right. And and there was a rare miss for Kane. Kind of a tight one so far. Yeah, we're two it's, serves two. It's 2-0, but Rocky is he's not giving up. He's trying to work his way into the match, trying to develop that confidence um, to go head to head with Kane. Good get. Oh, good get. get that. You gotta get that. Rocky called it on himself, not a call from Jason Thorner. Of course, Kane's gonna acknowledge that now. Let's yeah. listen in. And it's very tough. I, I, I thought he may have gotten it. I mean, he was way far forward. Looked like he got his racket underneath the ball. It's very tough to tell. These guys are so quick and long arms. This is our sixth match, semifinal, and it's the sixth show in the series of nine that you'll be seeing here on the tennis channel. Great get there by Rock. And you know, there you can see why I think Rocky has a tendency to pop the ball to the ceiling because he's not nearly as efficient in the front court as Kane. And there he tried to re-kill a ball, hit at his backhand, and he skipped it. That's a great shot. Yeah. 
unbelievable hands on this young Kane Wazalincha. Yeah, that's a classic Kane there. Ball drilled at his backhand. Four, it's a great two. example of the difference between how the players handle the ball in the front court. The shot before was hit at Rocky's backhand, not even as hard as that one, and he tried to re-kill it and couldn't. There it was drilled at Kane, and he just did a nice soft touch in that right corner. Skip off. It was all tied up there for a brief moment. Well, it's a, you know, it's a good example of how tough it is. You Five, got this sense two. that everything was going right for Rocky. He hit a couple of shots. Kane made a couple of mistakes. He was looking a little okay. confident. And all he had to show for it was being a 2-2. We're going to take a little break here. Rocky Carson, Kane Wazalinchuk. More when we return. We're back now. Kane Wazalinchuk lines up to serve. Just relentless. Kane has just got some vicious shots. It, Rocky just doesn't, Six. you know, we talked a lot, little bit about it when he was playing Mike Guidry. Rocky just doesn't have the firepower to consistently attack Kane. Um, Cliff, by contrast, does have the firepower, and uh, that's why I think that should be a very exciting final. Two bounces, great shot. A great anticipation by Rocky there. He saw that reverse pinch coming, moved way up on it. Kane just hit it too good. Yeah, Kane really had no room for error there and didn't make one. Hit a great shot. You know, something you spoke about, uh, about some of these players that have played Kane so far is that uh, they know they're going into a match against Kane, Wazalanchuk, so you feel like sometimes they lost before they even started. I don't expect that from, from Cliff Swain. Oh, no. No, no, no. You will not get that from Cliff. Cliff is an intense competitor. He's played all the greatest players of all time, and you will get a tremendous effort for Cliff, from Cliff. Now, it may not be enough, but he will go in and he will play his game at a very high intensity level. 8-2 now. Kane virtually running away with this match. Nice Great get. get. Oh. Oh, wow. Unbelievable rally. That get he made back there was just spectacular. Incredible. The crowd loves it. Even at the end there, even though he missed that shot. He was right there. He was right there. That's guess, I mean, he had to make a guess at that point, and, and Kane guessed right. He just, just Two, a couple three, inches away eight. from hitting his racket. That behind the back get he made in that back left corner was just unbelievable. That was remarkable. Two serves eight, Rocky Carson. Hold it. And there you see Rocky trying to do something with that backhand rather than flick it up. It's just not natural to him right eight. now, so he Serving skipped two. it. That's a little disheartening. You work so hard, you play an unbelievable point, and all it earns you is to get a chance to get in the service box. You don't even get a point for it. And I think that's what happens when these guys are playing Kane. It just wears them down mentally that they feel they have to play their best just to get a couple of points, it seems. 8-2. Once again, flicking to the ceiling. What? Just cannot do that against Kane. Unbelievable. You know, and that's to his forehand. Granted, it's a very tough serve, but Rocky's got to step Nine. over and try and Serving rip that two. ball. He just can't pop to the ceiling and hope that Kane misses or leaves it up because he's not very often. Rocky, being number four in the world, has beaten a lot of players. Last year, he took out some of the best. And you see Kane just dismantling Rocky. It really shows how good Kane really is. That's an unbelievable shot. I mean, that's, he was totally extended full length dive and somehow Dang. managed Sorry, to have two. the control and balance to hit a re-kill pinch and he went for that. He was not a lucky shot. Well, here it is, Aaron. 10 serves two. Kane finds himself in a situation to take Rocky out here and move himself in position to the finals of this U.S. Open against Cliff Swain. Yeah. 
And that's it. Game and match. Kane Wazalinchuk advances to the finals against Cliff Swain. Rocky Carson. A lot of respect there between these two players as they embrace. Can't say it was a great match. It was just a great exhibition by Kane Wazalinchuk. Yeah, no, I think it's a good way of stating it. It was a drubbing and certainly not particularly entertaining because it wasn't very competitive, but an awesome display by Kane. Kane Wazalinchuk shows there why he is the best player in the world. Rocky, not a bad player, but I mean, when you watch this match, if you're just turning on your TV set, it just looks like maybe Rocky's not prepared or he's not that good at this game. Rocky's a phenomenal player. He just had his hands full today. You yeah, know, it's a little disappointing from a spectator standpoint, you know, when it was against Mike Guidry, kind of a veteran player who's not aspiring to be the number one player in the world. You almost expect Mike not to be able to compete with Kane. But Rocky's a young guy who's had a very solid two or three seasons here. He's a guy I'd be expecting to really be cranking it hard to get to the number one spot in the world. And based on that showing today, I think Rocky's got a long way to go before he you know, is going to be challenging Cliff and Kane for the number one spot. Rocky Carson basically got to the semifinal not being tested. He wasn't pushed by any player. He's that good. But then he came into this match against Kane Wazalinchuk, and exactly what he did to these other players to get to this point is exactly what happened to him. Kane Wazalinchuk just dismantled him today. Yeah, no, and you know, Rocky's a, a great player. You don't get to number four on the IRT Tour without being a great player, um, but he clearly, he, he, this was the stage to do it. He was not prepared to step up and send a message that he's ready to challenge Kane for the top spot. Well, you can bet that Kane Wazalinchuk, this world champion, has got his hands full because he's going up against the greatest player of all time in this final. Cliff Swain, a six-time world champion, said by many to be the best player to ever play this game. In my eyes, undoubtedly the best player of all time. So join us next week as our seventh of nine shows here on the Tennis Channel as we cover the 2004 Choice Hotels U.S. Open Racquetball Championships. Thanks for watching.